Two months ago, when I finished my last round of the debate tournament, our opponent, an 11th grader who I met several years ago, asked me, Sabrina, how can you speak much more fluently and confidently now than several years ago? Is there any special technique? I was pretty embarrassing because my partner and I had just lost a round with him. However, his words really remind me to do some reflections about myself during the several years. So today, I would like to share with you about how I got a new identity through joining an unfamiliar activity. When I was little, just as our first speaker, I was a shy kid. When others say hi to me, I would just stand behind my mom and use her dress to hide myself as complete as possible. And I'm unwilling to make friends with new people and I do not like to communicate with strangers. I would prefer to do a prepared speech instead of an impromptu one because only the paper full of words can provide me a sense of bravery, confidence, and satisfaction. Then, I made debate. Thanks to my mom, through an accidental chance, I got a rare opportunity to have a debate class with a famous coach. And I remember that we talked about space race. I gave arguments like, firstly, space race can boost technological development, which would be beneficial even for people's daily usage. And I also believe that further explorations can bring more outer space valuable resources back to Earth, which could also be beneficial to us. After learning to my speech, my coach rebutted my points one by one with a lot of extraordinary ideas which I never thought of before. He mentioned, for instance, further explorations will bring to more launches, and more launches will cause outer space debris, which will interfere the work of station and satellite. And he also believed that cooperation could be a better alternative than the risky competition. So after this minute debate, amazed by my coach's critical thinking and his knowledge base, I became the big fans of debate. In the next two years, I studied debate with all my passion and bravery. I met a lot of great debaters from cities like Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, countries like Pakistan, North Korea, the US, and the UK. It was pretty a challenge for me to compete with them, and I even cannot remember I cried how many times after debating with them. Fortunately, difficulties always come up with achievement. I developed many great friendships with those great debaters who have the same passion to debate like me. We do research, prepare cases and blogs, argue with judges together. And the time spent with them is the best time I've ever had in these years. After learning debate, my identity changes dramatically. Now, I am the one who will say hi to little girls first and see them stand behind their mother and hide themselves as complete as possible. And I am the one who can make a lot of friends at the first day of the summer camp. And I am also the great debaters who can break into semifinals or even finals and accept others' appreciation with a confident smile. So, a challenging activities can bring you tears, but also happiness and achievement. And what you need to do is just to be brave to start, be insistent when encounter difficulties, and thus be free to enjoy the results. Just like how debate changes me, please join something challenging for you and see how it will change you and your identity. Thank you.